So we're out here in Port Townsend Bay removing derelict crab pots. We've done some research that indicates that a crab pot, depending on its position in the marine environment, can impact up to 30 square feet of habitat around the pot. So if you think about 12,000 pots sitting out there every year and you add that up, the numbers are pretty alarming in terms of the kinds of impact they could be having on marine habitat. We had 280 crab pots in about 11 square miles and uh, the dive plagues that are there represent the pots that have started to be removed. So we're working this little area right here right now. We've never removed pots here before and so what we're cleaning up today is uh, years and years of derelict crab pots. The divers here on our vessel are very experienced in the state approved protocols for removing derelict fishing gear. They'll, they'll dive down onto the pot location and they will find the pot and then they'll attach uh, clamps to the pot and, pot and float it up. This is a preventable problem. So if you're out crabbing, weight your pot, know the depth of the water that you're crabbing in, uh, make sure your buoy is super visible so vessels won't, won't uh, cut the line, and stay, and stay with your pot. Don't just leave it there and then uh, if you stay with your pot, you will have a much higher likelihood of keeping that pot than if you leave it.